Hello everyone, it's Sweaty Hewlett here with another Burn and Learn, and uh, I almost skipped today. I almost, I almost bailed, but then I thought, how do I explain that to the internet? I can't. So there you go. I'm here sweating all over the place. So a burn and learn for those of you who don't know is my bit to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son and to enjoy the twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. I hate exercise. It's boring. So I like to learn something while I'm doing it and then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest way possible. So today, the learn was back to systems thinker. Um, kind of an interesting book because I, I find I go up and down. I, I, I love and hate it. Um, there are sections that get very sort of self-helpy for me and... Uh, uh, I have sort of a wall to that stuff. I have like sort of both a repulsion and an attraction to the self-help genre. Um, but what's really interesting is it's a very dry subject. This whole the systems thinker. It's not you know it doesn't exactly jump out as uh, as you know exciting reading. But um, he's, he's his personality is coming through it in these really interesting ways, like little sort of political jabs and little sort of. Um, uh, you know, commentary on the way the governments run or education systems and things. So it's really, it's fun. I feel like I'm getting a bit of his personality in this in this as well. Um, and uh, the the system they were talking about today, or the the sort of the the analogy that they that they make to some of this stuff is this is this the Titanic and the iceberg. <laughs> That's a good a good indication. That's my life. Um, it really spoke to me. Uh, the idea that you're you know you it's an emergency straight ahead. Ah, what do we do? We got to steer the we got to steer the boat and. It's all about missing the giant underlying fundamental issues that are that are causing these these accidents to happen, and how can we get ahead of them by by planning ahead and and stepping back, and using the same common sense that seems very obvious in 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 specific uh, elements of a problem, uh, and stepping back and seeing that there are sometimes consequences to what we do that aren't necessarily don't necessarily make sense right off the bat. Um, he talks about the criminal justice system where, oh my, look at that. There's been like a 60% increase in incarceration and a 25% and a, and a drop in crime rates or whatever. And how obviously it works to put more people in jail, except it doesn't. Um, you know, uh, they have this, the, the amazing uh, story about, uh, God, well, I think it was Norway. I may get this wrong. I'm sorry. I think it was Norway where there's this guy who killed like 21 people, including women and children. And, and uh, his incarceration is like a lovely three-bedroom flat with computers and, and uh, a government university and, and access to a, a very uh, you know, quite comfortable life, basically, um, which would be shocking in, in North America, uh, but which is their, you know, their system is to, is to try to rehabilitate people. They want, they don't, they don't want people in jail. They want, they want people out being constructive parts of society. I don't know that I would let him out and he's an extreme case, obviously, but uh, I just thought it was an interesting perspective on it. And they have a very, very close, a very, very, very low um, climb, uh, crime rate and um, and incarceration rate. So, you know, something there. Um, although, God, that just, I don't know, that really just kind of creeps me out a bit. Anyways, um, point being is, uh, how do we not just react to these, the tips of the iceberg and look at the whole thing as, as a whole? Um, interesting thing that came up the other day, uh, which is a bit of a sideline, and this is one of the things I like about this book, is that it's a very dry subject. His personality somehow comes through in it in his little little jabs and jives, as I may have already said. Um, uh, but it gets me thinking, so I find I have to read reread pages because I'm, I drift off into my own stuff, like thinking about this makerspace, which I'm really excited about, which is trying to solve this problem of of kids not being engaged in the scientific stuff that I, on the science, technology, engineering, arts, and math stuff that I, I really I feel like it really is exciting stuff and it did take me a long time to figure that out. Um, and and I, I, want, I want kids at 14 and around that age to, to find these passions in their life the way I did. Like I found filmmaking um, at around that age and I don't know what I would have done uh, uh, if I if if I hadn't found that, and I I just I really feel like if I could be done with the sciences, even better. Like think about what an amazing world we would have if people were inspired to 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 invent and create stuff on a regular basis. So I'm really I'm I'm really seriously pursuing this whole makerspace idea, um, and I really appreciate your comments on that. By the way, there's some really good ones. The obvious one, I suppose, is this: like you're inviting kids into your basement to play with your robots. Um, I looked at spaces. I looked at, at, at rental spaces outside, and, and, and um, I think what I'm going to do is probably uh, 
uh, hire someone or have an intern that, that works with me um, when I'm down here so that there's always there's always a couple of people here with the kids because um, you want you want parents to be comfortable with that I'm not sure I would want I want to send my my kid off into a creepy basement side story uh, Baz was being picked up the other day for swimming and uh, at around a little bit earlier than we were supposed to, to go I saw the car pull up and I you know frantic ah, get out of here go push the poor kid out of the house goes to the door of this car, opens the back door and goes, and the guy goes, hello, who are you then? And it was like some guy who just happened to have pulled up in front of our house. And uh, I sent my son off with him. I was telling my, my wife, it was like, it's like, yeah, I'll tell anyone, anyone will take him. I'll, I'll just throw him in the car. So anyways, uh, all worked out in the end, but I just thought that was kind of amusing. Um, one of the funny things I, I, well, I, the, that, uh, about that story and about, about the book in itself is that I do find myself having to go back and reread sections because I, I get lost. I go off into the, I start sort of taking things, keep triggering things in my own life and, and issues that I see in my own uh, approach to parenting and stuff and in this makerspace and education and everything. Um, and uh, uh, which I think is actually very valuable. I do have to keep going back and rereading a lot of stuff, but but it's uh, it definitely has sparked a lot of thought. So um, uh, so that's where I'm at with that. Uh, I will continue. I think I'm almost done on it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm. I can't believe how many books I read when I do this. Like I haven't actually sat down and really read a book in a long time. It's generally audio books, a few articles here and there, and a lot of videos. Um, you know, because I have this sort of obsession with the fact that I that seeing things is better than seeing things done is better than, than reading them. But honestly, the process of reading for some reason is, is locking things in better for me. And, and I'm finding it in a strangely more relaxing process right now. Um, I still watch a lot of YouTube for, for, for reference, but, um, but, uh, it's just, it's really nice to sort of have that time to yourself just to, to actually read, even if it's on this horrible device. Um, so, uh, I guess I shall say, uh, oh, a couple things I'm happening today. I'm happening. I'm happening. I'm happening today. A couple things happening today. Uh, I'm going to have another chat with Easy Robots, uh, Professor E, which I'm very much looking forward to. And, uh, I'm also going to be talking with, uh, Bonnie Schmidt at, um, Let's Talk Science. We're going to, we're going to meet up before she gets back to, um, to London. So, uh. Two of my favorite people to talk to today, so I'm kind of excited about that, and uh, hopefully have uh, more stuff to be uh, to be sharing with you on the uh, over the over the holidays. I'm this week. I really want to get my next uh, sort of uh, steam inspiration, my steam engine out to you, which is um, which is the firefighting one. So I should have that by I should have that by tomorrow. I better have that by tomorrow. Otherwise I'm in trouble. Here you go. So until we geek again, sweaty or not, here I come. Cheerio.